Hello, gamers. This is Yang Min, the producer of Terrace Land. First of all, Happy New Year. Now, let's talk about some latest game updates. Let's talk about the monetization model. This is the most preliminary and difficult step in establishing an economic cycle, and our answer is 1. Appearances All appearance items, including outfits and mounts, are non-functional items that alter the style of game characters and offer no in-game competitive advantages. 2. Feature and social items Like rename cards, pay to love, gifts for a loved one, and pets, with no combat abilities just following players around. 3. Benefits are unrelated to attributes and do not affect the core gaming experience, like a larger backpack and warehouse which will improve farming efficiency. 4. Commission fee. Players will be charged a commission during the transaction process. We will also offer mainstream monthly and battle passes which provide one-time access to a certain amount of resources. They are by no means exclusive and can be obtained daily. Our innovative monetization model resembles a market economy, connecting the active behaviors of different players with the core of the Trade Center. Each character can learn a profession. When a character needs something produced by another profession, they can exchange it at the Trade Center. Players can trade and connect through the Trade Center. All types of resources, produced by professions or dropped in PvE, can be exchanged for common in-game currencies through the Trade Center to purchase other resources. Paid currencies obtained via the Trade Center can be used to purchase appearances and monthly passes in the market. On the other hand, different types of players can find their place in this economic system. Even a player without a profession who only does dungeons and raids will be able to acquire materials from various game modes and exchange them for currency or supplies at the Trade Center. It's worth noting that there is a large gap between the equipment crafted by professions and that dropped in dungeons. Players who wish to get their hands on more powerful equipment still need to do dungeons. Each item has a floating standard price, which is anchored based on the prices at which players successfully trade in the market. Players can set and adjust prices based on the standard price. So when a certain type of item is no longer in demand in the mainstream market, the pricing will automatically go down. This also prevents illegal program users from reselling outdated items for gold coins, protecting the normal order of transactions. In conclusion, the economic system of Terrace Land consists of the yield of professions, PvE drops, and the Trade Center. All we do is provide a trading platform. Item prices will be determined by the interaction of supply and demand. In this system, gold coins support the flow of commodities across the world. Players can obtain gold coins through gameplays or selling items. Crystals, a paid currency obtained via top-up, can also be purchased using gold coins. They're mainly used for purchasing appearances, items, and monthly passes. As the most widely used currency, silver coins can be acquired via various game modes. They can be used for upgrading skills, repairing equipment, and purchasing materials, diagrams, and supplies. They can also be used for purchasing functional items. We don't do subscriptions because we want all players to be able to experience Terrace Land burden-free. Compared to time-paying MMOs, we don't set a threshold, we don't sell hours, and everyone can enter the game for free to experience the full gameplay. We strive to shape a world that is real, open, and free. Being free to play should not be a publicity stunt, but should strive to establish a balance between gaming experience, player-oriented operation, and securing basic revenue to deliver quality content. Feel free to leave your questions about the game's economic system in the comments, or follow our official community to get the latest updates on the upcoming playtests. See you next time!